to create something new, I'm going to have to combine a clear intention. That's a function of the brain and the mind. That's a, a process that you can get better at. And you got to combine that with an elevated emotion. Most people keep their attention, always their awareness on their body. They keep their attention on everything in their environment, people and things. Their, their brain is always scanning everything around us to determine what's known and unknown, what's, what's safe, safe and, and unsafe, yeah. right? And, you know, we do that all the time. So our research shows that the moment you take your attention off your body and you go from somebody to nobody, you take your attention off the people in your life and go from who you identify with from someone to no one. And so mm -hmm. many people spend their whole life building an identity of being someone. Take your attention off your cell phone, your computer, your car, and go from something to nothing. Take your attention off where you're sitting, where you need to be, some place you have to go, go from somewhere to nowhere. And take your attention off time, linear, thinking about the predictable future, the familiar past, and fall into the generous present moment and go from some time to no time. Then all you're left with is consciousness. Mm -hmm. And that's the moment you're no longer playing by the same rules of matter to matter. And there's mm -hmm. an, a, a very elegant moment that takes place in the brain. In fact, I was just showing my research to a group of researchers in uh, Santa Cruz this past week, and they were blown away. And I said, now watch, this person is going to have a transformational moment. They said, how do you know? I go, I, I've seen enough of these. And the next moment, the whole brain just lights up. That person is switched on. They'll never be the same person again. They're having a transcendental moment. And we could actually predict it and teach it now. It's a formula. Just like you doing sports, it just becomes a formula. Sure. And then you change the formula and you add to it, right? So when you no longer are you know, identifying with your body, your environment, and time, that's the moment you're pure consciousness. Now, you're an awareness that has nothing to do with local space and time. And now you can go beyond and that's when the brain, because the brain doesn't change the brain. It takes a long time for the personality to change the personality, for the ego to change the ego. The programs to change the program takes forever. Matter takes a long time to change matter. But when you're in this moment, you're no longer playing by those rules. Consciousness is the phenomenon above matter. In fact, consciousness is beginning to activate or manipulate circuits in the brain. People just think the brain is creating consciousness. No, consciousness is executing the brain, right? So then if the brain can change, then the mind doesn't change the brain. Mind is the brain in action. It's consciousness that changes it. So when people begin to disengage and get beyond themselves, you are at your absolute best when you get beyond yourself. And getting the person to that point, yeah, so we teach them that formula. We teach them to that point where all of a sudden they reach that generous present moment where they just feel connected. And when they're in that place, all the things they thought they wanted, they actually no longer want because right. they feel like they already have them. So then imagine living your life from that place. You would be less uh, judgmental uh, and you would be less frustrated. Right. And so the formula then is that it requires a clear intention, which is a coherent brain. And when you're living stressed out and something goes wrong and you're threatened or you can't predict an outcome or you have the perception that something's getting worse or you can't control it, you switch on that fight or flight nervous system that yep. we talked about. Yep. Now, here's what happens. When that occurs, you start shifting your attention from one person to one problem, the one thing to another person to another place because your brain is trying to predict the next moment. Well, every one of those people and things and places has this neurological network in your brain. So as you shift your attention from one to the next, it's like a lightning storm in the clouds. If I want to create a new personal reality, a new life, I'm going to have to change my personality. And most people try to create a new reality, a new personal reality as the same personality and it doesn't work. We literally have to become someone else. So if you said, okay, let me not default and go unconscious to that 95% of who I am that's programmed. Let me become so conscious of the way I think. Let me become so aware of how I'm going to act today. Let me decide what emotions keep me connected to my past and bring me to a lower level, a lower level of energy. Let me not go unconscious. And then if you said, okay, if a belief is just a thought I keep thinking over and over again, what thoughts do I want to fire and wire in my brain? And with attention and with intention to begin to familiarize yourself with a new way of thinking. Meditation means to become familiar with. If you keep firing and wiring those circuits, you're going to begin to install the hardware. Repeat it enough times and it becomes a software program. That could be the new voice in your head that says, I can, it is possible. When the moment we are completely in the present moment, we cannot be running a program
program. It turns out, coincidentally, when we're truly in the present moment, all possibilities in the quantum field exist in the eternal now. So when we're truly present and we take our attention off our body, off of people in our lives, off of things, off of places, and even time, that's the moment, as I said today, we become pure consciousness. That's the moment now we are no longer playing by the laws of Newtonian physics. That's the moment we no longer have our attention invested in this three-dimensional reality. And where we place our attention is where we place our energy. So then the moment we become nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time, that's the moment we get beyond ourselves. It is that act of being in the present moment that allows us to see new possibilities that we could never see from the place where we are stuck in our own programs and personality. The act of doing that, as Bruce said, is a skill and it requires feedback. And feedback happens in a couple ways. One way you get feedback is to begin to measure the changes you see in your life. Another way is that you feel differently. Another way is that the voice in your head goes away. That's telling you you can, it's too hard, you'll never change. This process, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And yet we are piercing a veil where people are waking up and they're beginning to take their power back. We already innately know how to do this. All we have to do is keep practicing until we start seeing those wonderful, wonderful feedback mechanisms happening in our life. The moment you start seeing those changes taking place in your life, you are going to pay attention to what you did to cause it. And the moment you pay attention to the cause of that action, you're no longer thinking that it's something out there that did it. You're beginning to realize it's what you did inside of you to produce it. That's when we begin to take our power back.